your whole wife that you were engaged to all along. Hello. Hi. You are welcome back to my channel. I really hope that this stuff is working now because I don't even know if it is actually working or not. But I hope it is. This is your first time stopping by. I'm so happy to see you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Thank you. That's very important. So, I've decided to begin a series whereby, a series on my channel where I, you know, review Nigerian, mainly Nigerian. I think maybe later on I can decide to add some international movies into it or series into it but i'm going to be beginning with nigerian web series let's do this side i know i really like web series because i can get to watch every single episode anytime that i want or like the ones that are just on tv that now when i leave my house i cannot watch tinsel again do you know how many episodes of tinsel i've missed and each time i go back home by the time i go back home someone has died someone already has grandchild like a whole lot goes on when i'm not at home but for the past let's say five years or six years i've gotten into um web series and it started from skinny girl in transit like we know that that is the og of ogs that is the og of web series but today i'm going to be beginning this series by reviewing this new web series that i'm watching right the title is grow up or not it's produced by Efe Irele. i think i don't know if i'm pronouncing her name right she's one of like the upcoming artist in Hollywood and I really like to see her I mean I like to see new faces fresh faces that you know every time that they are casting the same set of people every day every day every day so this series is focused on three girls that live in Lagos I mean practically every Nigerian series is focused on people that live in Lagos every time they will be most happy in this Lagos and what is this is they going to face in Nigeria anyways so this um series shows on set work yes set work s-e-t-w-e-r-t w-e-r-k yes set works tv set works tv on youtube like that's the name of their youtube channel and this series is a mini series when i tell you mini series i mean mini like an episode is like 15 minutes and out of that 15 minutes they've used like like two minutes to do intro you know all the uh, beginning parts ah, i've forgotten the, the intro yeah this one i think mm -hmm. so then at the end when it's time to now add cast and the scenario they will do that one again guys so at the end of the day you're only watching this thing for like 10 minutes or nine minutes like when it finishes i'm always like like when i first start watching it i'm like this is so short why is this so short but then it's a mini series and we have to watch it like that anyways so i'm just going to go through the cast right so that by the time i'm mentioning their names inside what i'm saying you people will not be confused so we have Reki, a main character played by a really which is also the producer right then we have kiki her name is Okawa Shah's name. See, if I'm looking this way, because that's why I wrote their name. Imagine she mistake. And if I'm pronouncing this name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Let's go. So we have Moody, played by Sophie Ramal. She's a very cute girl, right? We have Stefan, played by Uzo Arukwe. We have Bio, played by Bola Moboli. Hmm. Bio, Bio. Okay. We have, um, a maker played by Chris Okagwe. We have Henry played by Femi Branch. We have Charles played by Timini and Busan. I mean, which series or which TV show in this Nigeria nowadays? Why am I holding the lip balm? Does not have Timini and Busan in it right now. Like, they never fail to just throw him into every show going on right now. And I guess it's because he's a good actor. Yeah. So, we also have last. And definitely not the least because this character is a really really shady one stalker played by mm Ufo. so now let me get into the actual review so these three girls or let's say these two girls 
move into an apartment in Lagos, trying to be a big, like trying to be big girls now, you know, they are getting their life together, trying to start a business and make their own money. I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's what we all want, right? Right. So that is Reki and Moody. So Reki and Moody are friends. Reki is a makeup artist. Moody is a hairstylist. They converted their living room into the studio. And you know, it actually does make sense because if I want to do my hair now and do makeup, I can just go there and get it to go. So, now, later on, they introduced um, Kiki to us. Kiki was just coming back from the Dubai. The United Arab Emirates. The one I'm going to buy. Kiki International. So Kiki flies up and down. You know, Kiki does sugar daddies. Kiki does men. Kiki does anybody that can spend some money on her. She has no job. Yes, Kiki is unemployed. Look at her head. Just look, just look at her. <laughs> so, now, the three of them are living together. Shebi. Kiki is not going to do anything in the house. If they like her, they were born. Kiki does not pay for food. Kiki does not buy anything. Kiki does not. Kiki does nothing. She just squats with Reki and Moody. Now, Reki and Moody actually ran into quite a number of jilts. Jilt. Chap. Quite a number of. What are those people called? People that jilt people. What are they called? Four one nine people. What's the English term? You know, the sophisticated term for it. Hmm. People that shut down, you know, they jilt them. Lots yeah. of just going on for them. Then we have a maker, right? The photographer. And he is very key and Moody's friend. And he's beginning to actually like Moody more than just friend. Like, more than just as friends, you know. Then Reki actually met this guy, Stefan. And she started dating Stefan. And one time, they had a party at their house. I mean, the girls threw a party. For their friends to come over, you know, I think it was a housewarming party or something, and they had some friends over, and then a maker decided to appear with who? Guess, just guess. Yes, a maker decided to appear with Timini Ebuso. Charles, I mean, and anywhere, anywhere Timini enter, I know a problem is about to happen. Yes. I know any girl Timini look at in the film, like if you can already tell in the beginning of the film that maybe Timini a girl is shopping in the shopping mall, Timini enter the shopping mall, it's over for that girl. It's over. Anyway, so he came for this party and Reki was drunk and then they kissed. And then one of their friends told her boyfriend Stefan, because no one liked Stefan once upon a time and they lost contact and now they're seeing each other again. And she started to scatter Stefan's relationship so that she can get into it. Anyway, Stefan is angry at Reki, changing it for Reki. Reki is begging every other day, calling him. He's giving her attitude. He's being cold to her. It has just been a lot, right? Now, in this last episode, I mean, was it two episodes ago? That's how we found out that Stefan is engaged to be married. So this man actually had a wife to be all along. And he was vexing for my darling Reki because Reki kissed a man. You see that men are, thank you for completing it in your mind. And if you said it out loud, thank you. Because ask Stefan. No, just look at his head. Anyways, now Stefan is definitely out of the picture, I believe so. Now, Reki and Charles kissed in the last episode, so I think things are about to get spicy between those two. What's going on with Moody? Oh, a maker like Moody established already. And yes, they said dating. Moody has a younger sister. Moody is from an average family. No, not average. Mm -mm. Moody is from a broke family. Yes, because her mother is a lot. Her mother is asking her for money. Oh. Yes, this is her mother. Can you see her head? This woman is so dramatic. She she does the most in this. Uh -uh. She just comes and she be shouting once upon a time. She found a dildo in their room <laughs> it was it was a lot it was a lot anyway so um Rek, um Reki, yes Reki is from the rich family the way they made it seem she's from a rich family yes and then there is a stalker and i don't understand the plot of this movie and how that stalker got into this movie because how can i open the door to my room and i see a stalker on my bed 
I see a human being on my bed. How did the human being enter? These people live upstairs. Their building is upstairs. You know that part where they they do they are doing camera from the outside of the film, right? They're showing the outside. The people are living inside. It's upstairs. How did it get there? Because when you open the door to their house, they only have one entrance. When you open the door that enters their flat, you enter the studio. How could you pass there and nobody saw you till you were in the room? Anyways, he disappeared. Next episode, they don't talk about him. Next thing, in this last episode, they saw him standing by the tree, behaving like, like a stalker that is very scary, very shady, something. And now, somebody, Bolly, Bonamo Bolly, his name is, um, in this series, what's his name? His name is Bio. Bio is steadily chopping Kiki now. Kiki does not want to marry her sugar daddy Henry because Henry has children. And she's like, I'm a baby girl for life. Kiki International, Kiki Dubai today, London tomorrow. I cannot be somebody's stepmother. Am I ready to be a mother yet? And she thought that this boy, um, this new boy, Bio, was a rich boy, but he isn't. And he was only pretending because he also wants to be catching rich girls. Can you see how Kama used to jam people? Shana is using style to be choppy Kiki. He will tell Kiki today that, oh, babe, I think I forgot my card. Can you pay? Kiki is going to be like, ah, this is 45k room, oh, you know. So, Kiki, you can't afford 45k room, but a man can carry you there. Okay, she paid. The next time she's like, Oh, you're giving them your card. I say, Oh, babe, I gave them your card. What? My card? But you know, he's not giving me the money for the last time. He's like, Baby, don't worry now. The bank's like, I think my card is lost. The bank will get back to me. I cannot make any transactions now to further notice. And then he's smiling because he has think where you have jam jackpot. He didn't know where the two both of you are the same. You are the best of a feather and you will flock together. So I think that is it for my review series so far. It is a really, really short series. I think when I watched the first episode, I was like, this film has finished. Ah. Ah. The end of the cinema. Thank you for staying this far. If you actually stay to the end of this review. And I think you should watch the series. I mean, I think I find it interesting. Like, I want to know what's going on. What's going to happen with that soccer? What's going to happen to Kiki in the end? Is Moody going to have the happily ever after with a maker, you know? Is Charles going to be a good man to Reki? I'm really curious. And yes, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will be back with more reviews on web series. Thank you. Thank you for staying this far. And if you've actually gotten this far, subscribe. I'm begging. I need money. There's no money on ground. Tell your friends, tell someone to tell somebody to subscribe. Every to beg them. I'm begging you. I'm not proud. I'm not pride. I didn't have pride. I require money. 